Bloom and Lunar Cherry Blossoms, and welcome to another episode of Zootcraft. It is another beautiful morning, as per usual, in our Zoocraft world. Good morning, Curly Fry. How's it going, buddy? Don't worry, today we will be trying our best to make you your own little food trough, so you don't have to keep nibbling on grass. <laughs> Off camera, I've been working on a little bit so that when we started this episode, we had a little bit more progress. And I will show you guys that progress right now. Ta-da! That is right, it is fully finished. Now, the inside is not on the other hand. I finished the exterior and added a staircase to the interior so that we can go all the way up and get a really cool view of the surrounding area. But this needs more life, more greenery before we can get any butterflies in here. So today we will be on a mission to find flowers. Great start. <laughs> Ooh, I think I found the jackpot. Yes, oh, beautiful. Even more, perfect. Okie dokie, we have quite a bit of uh, different types of uh, flora and fauna. Well, just flora actually. So let's go ahead and put them in and see how it looks. It's starting to come together. Let us add some torches real quick though. Hmm, not sure how I'm gonna reach over there. There we go. And then we have dirt to be able to get all the way up here. And we do have some bones on us, so we can make some bone meal just to add some grass around here. There we go. Starting to come along. Now I do wanna add vines and kind of leaves sprawling down the uh, outside and inside. But first, I wanna go ahead and check on all of our animal habitats that we already have. Hello, wolves. How are you guys doing? Are you swimming as per usual? Yep, okay. Anyone else doing something else? I was thinking about a way to make it where they don't register. Oh God. Was a close one as i was saying i was trying to find a way that they won't register that there are animals outside that they want to kill and i thought maybe adding a roof would help so i'm thinking of adding a leaf roof let's go ahead and go grab our shears if we have any and then start shearing some leaves there we go curly fry are you outside oh hello buddy you are so cute <laughs> Oh, here, you want some carrots? There you go. <laughs> so one of my all time favorite shows is Lucifer on Netflix. Um, the first two seasons are absolutely my favorite and I still love the rest of the show, but the first two seasons are like what I think of when I think of Lucifer. Uh, I absolutely love that show and I haven't watched it in so long. I kind of like forgot about it for a hot second, even though it's my favorite show ever. It's like, I don't understand how I forgot about it, but regardless, I've been wanting to, excuse me, I've been wanting to rewatch it really bad, and so I'm thinking of rewatching it actually after I'm done filming this episode. <laughs> Just thought I'd give you guys a little life update on random things in my life. <gasps> oh no, I, <laughs> I broke my shears. I still don't know what I can do with the queen bee, like that's actually useful. Regardless, let's see how far these will take us. Let's see, where are they in the habitat? Okay, they seem to actually be pretty calmed down now. Hi guys, you guys are actually acting chill. Awesome. Well, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of privacy. Oh, now you're no longer chill. I'm not actually sure if the roof will help because they still get mad even on the corners that have trees. So I'm not sure, but hey, worth, worth, worth the try. Okay, this middle area shouldn't really affect it if it is the problem. Again, if you guys know what's going on, please let me know. I do need to get them some food, and I'm fully aware of that. What if I made a barrier with the leaves? Here, let's try something. If I take you guys, pull you guys over here. There we go. Pull you all over here. It's always this back corner, so I'm gonna mainly focus on this back corner. Hmm, looks like I need a new pair of shears to continue this. Hmm, looks like they're still trying to attack stuff through there. Guys, if you, if you, oh, cause, the, cause the goat got around. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Goat, please leave. You just have a death wish, don't you? 
Maybe I should let you in with them. Teach you a lesson. You know what? I'm really debating it at this point. Come on. We will make this less ugly in the future, I promise. Okay, now are you guys chill? Or did you find something else to be angry at? What are you angry at? Is it the cow? He's like so far away. Well, I tried my best. That's all that matters. <laughs> now let's go ahead over to the foxes. Our sweet baby foxes. There they are. Look at them, sweet babies. Oh, I love them so much. I love the foxes so much. Here, where's the third one? Let's see. There's one. Uh, there's two. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. I got so scared that a fox was going to walk up and hurt, get themselves hurt. Oh, there's three. Okay, I'll leave you guys alone now. I just want to make sure you're all wearing here. Now, let's take a nap and then get Curly Fry his food dropped. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and drop. Okay, wood, iron, sticks. Got it. I need wood, iron, and sticks. There we go. We got a trough. And then how do we make slop? I forget. A bucket of milk and then two random foods. Okay, let's do two wheat. And I already have some goat's milk on me, I believe. What can we do? There we go, slop bucket. Curly fry, oh my gosh. Curly fry, hello. Do you want some slop? <gasps> oh no, oh no. Come here, babies. I didn't think about that. Let's put you right there for a second. Oh, that was scary. Okay, we need, we need, we need to go ahead and go inside very quickly and make some more fences. There we go. Let's put back that block. Go like this. Excuse me? How rude. Okay. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. There you go. Got a slop bucket. You should come over and try it. I know you want a potato, but here's the thing. You got a bucket of slop now. You want... <gasps> it went down. They ate it. Awesome. Do we have a... <gasps> Curly Fry grew up! Curly Fry, you got so big! You're a big boy now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here, have some extra carrots. Oh my god, you were so cute. Not much of a junior anymore, are you? <laughs> Guys, Curly Fry grew up! <laughs> Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to make a potato garden next time for Curly Fry. Yes, just for you. <laughs> He's so big. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Say bye, Curly Fry. He's eating my shoes. It's okay, though. I love him anyways. <laughs> bye, guys.